Unified Police Department could soon be on its way out. The proposed bill would dismantle the department and force communities to either create their own police departments or to go with the Salt Lake County Sheriff. New specialist Mike Anderson explains why some lawmakers are pushing for this change. The bill sponsor says as it is now, the sheriff has her own discretion to put as many taxpayer dollars for the county if she wants into UPD, which ultimately doesn't help cities that already have their own police departments. Unified Police Department was created in 2009 with the idea that police forces could consolidate many of their resources, making the larger department more cost-effective in some ways, stronger in others. The Unified Police Department is nationally known for their investigative work um, and their Metro Gang Unit. But there is some concern by lawmakers that by having the Salt Lake County Sheriff also serve as the CEO of Unified Police, there could be some conflicts of interest. We don't need the county and the state legislature establishing this uh, supra police force um, that has established UPD. Representative Jordan Tusher of South Jordan says citizens are having to pay taxes toward county law enforcement, not always knowing if it will actually benefit the whole county. There's a lot more transparency and accountability when it's straight from the sheriff's uh, office to their deputies to actually enact programs. Sheriff Rivera says her administration has been fighting this bill for several years. It has taken hundreds of hours and hurt morale. We can't continue to have politics get in the way of public safety. And that's why she will no longer oppose the bill. Communities under UPD will have to choose to either create their own agencies or contract through the department or neighboring cities. It could mean less of the strength in numbers and resources that UPD has now. But Rivera says they'll work on a model that will still provide the services the cities and townships need. If this law gets passed, it will go into effect in 2025, so there will be some time to transition everything into the Sheriff's Department that goes before a House committee tomorrow. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.